Hi everyone, I'm not going to talk about vinyl today, I'm just going to talk about medical stuff. So if it squeaks you out, don't watch. I'm not going to show any pictures, so don't worry. Uh, I've had a bit of a cancer scare. Uh, I was quite worried about it for a few days. I had a lump on my, on my derriere, well around that that general area <laughs> okay on my asshole okay so, so, so let's let's not be discreet this is this is serious uh and, and i i thought okay well that's probably just a hemorrhoid you know everybody gets those at some point i'm not going to worry about that and it's kind of lasting for a while, and I'm thinking, geez, you know, this is not necessarily good, and I've got a history of bowel cancer, so perhaps, perhaps maybe I should go to see the GP. And I didn't want to go to see the GP because I don't like going to the doctor. And um, a friend of mine said, you know, you should really go to the doctor. And I'm going, yeah, I should go to the doctor, doctor but I don't really want to. And I've really got no excuse. I mean, consider this. The doctor is just around the corner. And it's not difficult to get there. It only takes about a minute to get there. Just walk there. And uh, the Australian medical system is basically, you show them two cards and that's it. You don't pay anything. You just show them two cards and then you walk away. You know, you say bye-bye to the doctor after you've seen the doctor and that's it. And that's it. I mean, you don't pay anything. If you're on a pension, I, I think if you work, you pay something. There's bulk billing and... But never mind. Um, so I had this little lump and I got on the table and I said to the doctor, well, what do you think? And she said, <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to say, well, it, you know, you should hang it up in the gallery or something like that. But um, I thought she'd kind of say, yeah, stick some cream on it and it would be fine. Um, but she said, oh, that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I said, um, do you think it's cancer? And she said, I'm a bit suspicious of it. Hmm. Well, you know, a few years ago, I went through the whole shebang. Radiotherapy, chemotherapy, an operation, and I'm thinking the worst. And before I had mum looking after me, so I had some some support, and I didn't have any support this time, and, and I'm getting really quite worried. And I, and I don't like that because I'm, I worry enough as it is. And I'm starting to think, what am I going to do with my house? What am I going to do with my dog and my cat? Who's going to look after them? And, and I'm getting really quite concerned. And a lot of the time I think I would really like to sort of jump off the planet of my own doing. Uh, and I've said as much many, many times. But um, when it's kind of in your face... It was scary, you know. I, I thought that maybe I would die and, and maybe I'd die bum first, which would be horrendous because I kind of saw my father go through that. And um, I, that was really quite scary. And I didn't want to go through it myself. And I really wasn't sure how I was going to cope alone if I was going through that and having chemotherapy and whatnot. It was going to be difficult. I've got a hair in my eyes. It's not crying. I've just got hair in my eyes. But television would make out that I was crying, wouldn't they? Um, yeah, so I was in the shower today and I had a little bit of a feel. And it seemed like it was smaller. So I was all ready to see the surgeon and get a biopsy and all of that kind of stuff. And I was going to get on the train and... You know, I think to myself, well, that'll be the start of it. I'll get the biopsy and he'll say, mm. but it was smaller. And 
I wasn't sure whether I was I was imagining it or not. Maybe I was just being extra hopeful. So I went to the doctors and the doctor said, it's shrinking, it is shrinking and it's healing over. Whew. So, I really don't know how I feel. I, 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 sh I think I had a little bit of, I had a feeling of relief before that I wouldn't have to go through all the bullshit. And I remember, I remember quite clearly a lot of the bullshit that I went through last time. And um, I, I really wouldn't want anyone going through that. It was hard. It was really hard. So, you know, I, I have thought many times that it's going to come back and catch up to me. And I thought, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. But... Maybe this time I've dodged a bullet and I'm going to be okay. But it really scared me. So I came home from the doctors and I gave my dog a big hug. And she's very pleased to see me. And I suppose that's it. I just wanted to let you know that I had a big scare and it's over. I think it's over. I really do. I'm a bit of a pessimist, though. <laughs> so it's going to take me a while to be absolutely certain. You see, I'm not a person of faith. I have no faith. I work on facts. I work on facts, and I, I'm not really... I, I, I left religion completely. I mean, I was never really a religious person anyway, but I know the point in which I dumped it and that was when I woke up from the last surgery and I'm thinking how the hell would a god put me through that sort of stuff and and I and I remember ranting and raving at god for a long time for for a few months and then eventually I went hang on if you don't believe in it why are you bothering? But I think it was to let a bit of steam out. And uh, I did. I called God every name in the book. Um, for, what I, for what I've been through. You know. And um, now it's over. And I don't have faith or religion or anything in my, my heart. I'm completely devoid of it. And I have... And I work on facts. So one has to, if I can hold it in my hand, I acknowledge that it's real. You know, even if, if, it's, if it's a paper full of facts or if it's the actual object, I can't do anything else. I can't work on anything else that's a bit vague. I have to know. And today it, it appears, <laughs> it appears like it's good news. I hope it's good news. I hope it lasts. I hope this is the end of it. Um, I, think, I think if I was going to cark it, the best way to go would be to just have a heart attack, you know, and just... Um, lingering in hospital, that's what scares me. That's what really scares me. So anyway, that's my news. And I just thought I'd say that. See you later.